First time I met Danny, I was very surprised with how just outgoing he was. He was able to have a really long, full conversation about the things that he enjoys, and you can just talk to him forever about the things that he likes. He's really fun to talk to. He's just overall a pretty goofy kid to be around. You know, he really loves to have fun. He really loves drawing shapes and making them into like these uh, rugs and blankets and stuff that he'll decorate the house with. He's he's an artsy kid. He likes to he likes to do artistic things. He likes to draw. Danny is definitely very curious. And he loves to ask questions and he loves to know more about things. We usually spend a lot of time going on investigations as him as an FBI agent. Daniel will do very well in a home that's structured, as well as a home that can give him the one-on-one -on -one attention that he needs. He'll also benefit from a family that's willing to learn different parenting styles so that they can meet him on his level. Daniel's idea of an ideal family is pretty simple. He wants a family that will feed him, that will take care of him. He wants a family that will treat him with respect. He'll do really well with a family that's patient and that won't yell at him. It doesn't matter what they look like or what background they come from. It just matters that they treat him with respect. He's gonna bring a lot of love and excitement and joy into any home that is willing to bring him in. He deserves that chance to have a forever family as much as any other kid, and he deserves that family that's love and that care that he needs.